Hello everyone, this is Prashantha. Welcome to Python Automation The Name Series. Today we are going to see very important topic, alerts. So how to handle the alert. So first of all, what is alert actually? So how you handle the alert? So alert, it's kind of pop-up. So when I clicking any action or button, see this, this is alert box. So it contains the uh, title and content and it have a actions like OK, like that, OK? So this is a simple alert. So like if I have other kind of alert is like like this is called as a confirmation alert like it has two options either either cancel or okay so normal some alert box can contain a text also so see this it is contains the text text box also you can go and type it over there okay this, this is the types of alerts like a simple alert confirmation alert and text box alert, content alert okay so today we are going to see how to handle the alerts in the script okay so this is the uh, i created already one new file like alert demo so uh, the, this you guys already know how to launch a driver and everything so i will give you this url in the description you can go and check it out okay so first of all so in this space first of all what i need to do i need to go to the url once go to the url i need to click on this button so if you click on this button the alert will come okay so first of all we need to take a xpath for this xpath are any web elements okay so i'm inspecting this web element see this is this button it is a class and on click so i'm i'm uh, i'm what's the parent the parent is kind of div so it has an id so i'm copying the id value of this parent div like attribute id attribute so i'm giving driver dot find element by dot id and i'm passing the id value dot click so this method will click the exactly on the button so right now what will happen once clicking the item the pop-up will arise so next thing i need to click on the ok button so i like accept we call this a ok is accept so in this we call this ok means accept okay so we are going to driver dot switch to we are switching from main window to home we are switching to alert and we are going to accept it see this it has a accept send keys text dismiss so i'm going to accept it okay so it's a fast action it's going on easy way so i'm going to put one wait here so what is the wait time dot sleep for two seconds okay after acting asset, I'm again put time time dot sleep for two seconds and driver dot quit because set driver dot quit. So it will want to close the driver. Okay, so right click running my file. So simple here. So all that is kind of a pop up in a top of a screen. So in a Chrome, if you're using an Internet Explorer, it'll come in the middle. See this, it's launched to the website, it's going to the URL and it will maximize the window. Once it's maximized, it will click on the button, click button to display an alert box. Once click on the button, it will show an alert. Our asset will click it and close the browser. Okay. So this how simple this is. Okay. So what are the other ways I told you? When I click on the alert, this we want to click on this first and we need to go and click on this alert box. It contains both. Okay. Cancel. Both the things. So, so first of all, what we need to do? We need to click on the this icon so i want to export of this one see this i'm taking this this at like i'm going to create an export for this control f so i'm taking double slash what's the tag name a is a tag name square bracket at href equal to href value see this it's highlighted and it's one of one okay so i'm taking copy the export so i'm clicking on accept times this is for confirmation alert so driver dot find element by dot x path and i want to pass the x path here so i want to click okay okay next once you click on this alert with ok cancel next i want to inspect the box so this box has a like id as what cancel tab okay so i'm going to driver dot find element by dot id and i'm giving the id value and clicking on it so so after that what i will do i will copy i will paste it the two seconds of time here last time we start how to accept it so here i'm going to study how to click on cancel okay okay means accept 
so I want to click on cancel what I will do driver dot switch to dot alert dot see this we want to click on dismiss last time we studied how to accept right now we are going to study the dismiss function okay after the dismiss it will wait for two minutes and will close the browser okay. it will see this it will enter the browser so it's went to the first tab it's closing it will click on the next one here will can cancel it will close the driver okay so this uh, we need to click on accept and dismiss in a tab so what are the other functions okay so if you in the third in a third tab when i click here so first of all we have to find two x path one x path is uh, this alert and text box okay this is the same so i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this uh, both the things uh, from here like this is what this is uh, text right? so i'm going to copy so in this i have a value of so cancel tab so i'm going to copy and paste it uh, between this cancel tab okay cool so we connect it and we need to click on this inspect button this is what this is a text box id id value is a text box for the div i'm giving this one. so this will click so right now i don't want to click anything I, after the clicking operation what i want to do i want to read the text first of all here we are going to to the two things okay so in your validation generally in our validation we will do we, we read the text so whatever text is coming in the alert we will validate so in a, as a testing scenario we will we want to test what alert is giving so it is it's giving a right text or not so how to read a text in alert so for that we use a text method so how to do so first of all i'm creating a variable like tx tx equal to driver dot switch to dot alert dot text so this method will take the what come the content from the alert after that you can dismiss or anything so i'm copying a dismiss after that getting a text dismiss it so in this i'm going to print so i'm going to print what this text is story see here i'm printing the text and after that i'm dismissing the alert and closing it so using a text method we can read a text from the alert so this is first alert and uh, here it is second alert and it is third alert is coming and it will close the browser so right now see it is printed the value what is came in the alert so if you want to type something you can simply write driver dot switch to dot alert and using send keys okay send keys you can type anything so if you want to type anything in a text box you can uh, have to use it okay so thanks for joining in uh, if you have faced any issues in the alert section please put me in a comment i am here there to help you and uh, thanks for joining in